Alright, are we all good? Yes, we are good. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Captain JJ live stream with myself. And also, I'll be continuing the episode of X Grind, and also be taking in your questions for the evening. So, the usual plan is to go through the masterclass with a number of machines. This time around, I've decided to go with a few more machines, fighting like White Cat at Deep Core for this one. As you can probably guess, Fire Stingray is a good machine. It's not the best machine, but it's good for beginners. It's got a strong body. It has a strong body, but its boost does let him down, and its grip is also on the good side as well. Just going for max speed, that is. So, first up is the Jack Cup. Figure of eight, this track is the first one in Mew City. It's the easiest one. But the difficulty doesn't come from the track, it comes from the AI. And also the push ship speeds we all make it difficult to try and get a maximum score here. Hello Zach, how's the evening? Ooh. Oh, good grief. That's not where really what I wanted there. I need to do it a bit quicker now. Oh, I think I missed a bit of energy, which is not brilliant. Ah, I'm out of energy. Well, I'm, I'm fine up here. Yeah, it's been alright. Had to get sand for the baby. Play sand, that is. So, but out and about, up on that, I'm holding up again. Last in that one was uh, Black Shadow. Now this track, to me, is going to be the most problematic. Especially with my lack of boost power. Grip power really doesn't mean too much here. Keep it close to the wall, and I'll be all right. That was weird. I've never seen Mighty Gazelle fly like that. Oh, I've seen fly that. Full stop, if you ask me. I need a hole. That worked out well. As you probably wondered, you're wondering why I was pushing, why I didn't fly. It's because I was pushing the control stick away from me. At this point, it's absolutely critical that you push it off for a push, push it down and towards you, towards you, so you don't fly. And that's worked out. Stat, uh, stat wise, it's Blood Falcon and the Blood Hawk. Uh, for the absolute, um, absolute best, definitely Bloodhawk. Uh, it's got a low grip. Uh, it's got, he's got low grip. It's got good body strength, and his boost is one of the best in the game. And and also, his sliding ability, which is crucial, is the best. Followed closely by Night Thunder, and the best jumper is uh, Twin Noita because of its strong boost power. 
This is not one of the best machines though, which I'm using right now. This is more aimed at beginners. Similar sort of thing to um, the Blue Falcon, which I'll be doing later on. Not tonight though. Okay, that's not really... That's not really how I wanted to go about things. There is actually... What I was trying to do was go a little bit high. I was trying to go high. Oops, yeah. yeah, like that. I got a machine off as well. So that was Jody Summer going for an early exit. What I was trying, what I was doing there was double tapping, dive off the uh, pipe. Oh, that didn't quite work. But yeah, it was the right idea. Definitely the right idea. Well, you had to in this game. You have to. Um, now you had to um, play a top two in this game to be the absolute best. Um, I've been playing on it since my 2005 on and off. I did it competitively, where I was I'm still ranked as in like on um, F0 Central. I'm still classed as a uh, top 50. Over I'm still I'm classed in the top 50 range, which is res pretty respectable. Oh, that was not really. A that was not how I wanted to tackle that one. Oh. That was uh, not what I wanted. Not enough power. Wasn't really going to be able to do anything from there, so I'm trying again. Honestly, if more people can get down there, there'll be the more the merrier. If this does happen, though, it'd be quite annoying simply because of the fact of how good my high speed oval, how good my high speed uh, oval was. Now you see, I've got no machine, so if I fall off again, I'm dead. I have to restart the car. Oh, that was... Uh that was not the best. Best landing, but that was that was fine. That I could really avoid. It. I can really. Oh, nuts! That's not. That was not the way I wanted to do that one. Yeah, I messed that one up. Could have been a lot worse, so could have had to redo the whole cup again. It was clutch I didn't finish that time. Where? Oh, I'm still leaving it though, which is the main thing. Anyway, there was promise next up. Excuse me. I should probably guess my machine count is zero, but if I destroy five or more races in one sitting, then I get a new one back. But it's only redeemable once. Uh, this is where the deep boost really 
let's sit down. But respectable first lap. You know what I mean? I need to put my head. I need to put this headset back in the right place. That sucks. GX. Oh, um, non custom machine wise, for non snake, it's Fat Shark. Uh, for custom wise, I I'm led to believe it's like a Gallant Star G4, and that's for customs. The custom machine. So, very much the pick and choose, really. Fat Shark for non custom, though. Followed closely by Black Bull. So anyway, Big Blue, this is a pipe track. Ooh, get out of the way. I know it's a mad wolf. The machine is name is Mad Wolf, but that was a bit mad of me. Well that's gonna help me enormously. I've just seen Silver Nelson end up in the drink. Along with a couple of others. And that's not worked out. Really important to hit all the dash plates at this level. And also, if you remember Super Smash Bros. Melee, the adventure mode, Big Blue, this is the very track that it was based on. No way I'm getting involved with bitty shenanigans again. Finish. Yeah, new rival. Um, if the um second place ride, right, if the if the person who's actually leading or was second in the race falls off, then a new rival becomes available. It's the next one down, effectively. It works its way down through the championship order. Anyway, only 17 of them finished this time round. Anyway, uh, uh, Raph reacts. Uh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying your time. Anyway, next up is the, um, oh, what you call it? It's, oh, it's high jump, isn't it? This one is the odd exception I will use. Oh, oh. Nice, Matthew X. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, much, much appreciated. Much appreciated, my man. Oh, yeah, that's not really worked out. This is the exception to the rule in terms of the um, jumping one because I did try it with uh, Death Anchor yes, no, no, it yesterday. It was Thursday, which will be uploaded to the YouTube channel on uh, Monday. Oh, next week at some point. Now what I did there was a double tap dive. It increases the speed very rapidly. Very useful advanced technique. Yep. It's 
quicker doing it. It's alright doing it from the right hand side on the first on the first lap, but then every lap after that it has to be from the left. Simply because of the curvature of the next corner. Oh dear. I would try I would try that tactic again, but um Safety is off the measure here because I've, I haven't got any machines left. Right, right, so that's fire stingray over and done with. That's great. Nice in the championship, this one was Black Shadow. It would win it quite comfortably in the end. Despite uh, two rounds not going to coin to play. So Mute City, that was relatively straightforward. Science was also relatively straightforward given the circumstances. Sand Ocean? Well, that could have been better. That's where I lost uh, my spare machines on. Devil's Forest, I messed up on the corner on the last lap. Big Blue? Well, that went relatively well. Port Town? That was another one that went pretty well as well, so pretty happy with those. One uh, with no machine destroyed. So, Super Nelson Knight under third, Billy and the Bad Wolf second. And finally, Fire Stingray, Samurai Gore, myself, the winner. The best in the universe. You could ask, you could say that. Samurai Gore is one of Captain Falcon's chief rivals, but he doesn't want to kill him, unlike a certain individual. <laughs> 